Okay, so how to make icons smaller on iPhone and everything explained in this video. Well, there is technically a way to make the icon smaller. Uh, in the settings on your iPhone, if you go to the display and brightness section, then scroll down and click on view, there you can choose between the zoomed in and regular mode. So you can technically zoom out, but it only works if you're already zoomed in to begin with. So if you click on the regular mode, it's going to zoom out from the zoomed in and therefore make the icons smaller. But it won't go any further than that. If you're in this regular mode already and want to make the icons even smaller, then it's just not going to be possible. However, if you're in the regular and want to make them bigger, consider this zoomed in option as the way to do it. But there are also some other kind of weird ways to mimic that look or to make them at least appear smaller. But at first, we have to take a look at the iPhone's icons history. Since the first iPhone all the way until the release of the iPhone 5, there were only four rows of apps available to be shown on the home screen. Like, no matter what iPhone you had, you always had the same look. With the iPhone 5, the screen size jumped up from 3.5 inches to 4 inches which allowed one more row of icons to be shown. And again, the same thing with iPhone 6. The 6 brought even bigger screen with 4.7 inches, and the one, once again, allowed one more row of icons to be displayed. But this is pretty much what we have now and are stuck with. Even on the biggest iPhones, like the Pro Max models, we are only presented with the same amount of apps. The limit is the same, which is shame because we could use the real estate of the screen much better. So no matter what your screen size is, no matter if you have the 12 mini, which is like really tiny, or 13 Pro Max, you have the same amount of icons. But like I said, you can in a theory at least make the icons optically smaller. So they just look more minimalistic. As you probably know, there is a way using the Apple's Shorts app to change the app icon to look whatever you want. And there are so many icon packs, like take a look at the Instagram one, which is regular, and the minimalistic one. This one looks a lot smaller, of course, and therefore makes it feel like the icon is smaller. I mean, yes, I get it. It's not really smaller, it's just the frame is really the same, the border still remains as it is, so nothing new here. It's definitely not something you wanted to get, but I can only show what's possible and what Apple allows us to do. So for this, you're gonna need to download some minimalistic icon pack, or even design your own one if you know how to do it, and use the shortcuts app to change them. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show it to you how you can use the shortcuts to change it. So skip this part if you don't plan on doing this. Anyways, you download the Apple's shortcuts app from the App Store. You open it up, of course, and click on a new shortcut. Then the thing that the shortcut is supposed to do is to open an app. So make sure to search for the thing open an app. Now choose the app that you want to change the design of. So it can be any app, of course, perhaps even change it for all of them. So click on that and now tap the options icon. And what we pretty much want to do is to add it to the home screen. Once we are here, you can change the name of it. So of course, make it whatever you want, but it's advised to make it and to name it properly. And then choose the icon from the gallery. So changing the name and icon, you can add it to the home screen as a shortcut. And therefore you have an icon, which is like an app, which opens up the regular app. And you pretty much made the icon look smaller, but making it more minimalistic. But like I said, I get it. I totally understand it, that this is not actually making the icon smaller. It's just making it look a little bit more minimalistic and small. But it's definitely not something that we would expect and want. Also, if you remember, in the past, a jailbreak was a thing. Like, you could escape the limits of Apple and pretty much do whatever you wanted. And back in the day when it was popular, Iconizer or pretty much other tweaks that you could install allowed you to simply add one more app to them. You could make these smaller icons, you could make animations between scrolling, and there were many options that you could do. 
However, jailbreak is not really a thing and it's just not possible right now. So I wouldn't really worry about it. If you want to, there is a community on Reddit uh, talking about it all the time. Then you can search some videos online about it. But I wouldn't really go this route. Like, of course, it's not official way. So I I'm not sure about it. Okay, and the last question is if it's going to change in the future. In the near future, probably not. We cannot really expect Apple to give us, like, of course, a sudden, sudden change like that. Like, we had iOS 16 just released, and so at least for one year, it's not going to change at all. And with iOS 17 or the next versions, it's definitely not expected as well. So, I I don't know, if you really want that degree of personality, personality and a customization, then Androids are probably the way to go. But the iPhone is just as it is, and it's just not going to allow you to make the icon smaller or to animate them or whatever you do with uh, your Android phone and icons. Anyways, I hope the video helped you out. I really do hope that you found it valuable. In case you did, just let me know about it down below in the comments. I will probably reply to you. You can also subscribe and leave a thumbs up on this video. Like the audio is a little bit different right now, but I'm just breaking things out. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.